What's up, guys? This your boy Flexington Curry, and we back again with some more breaking hip hop news for that ass. All right, this time we're about to talk about why Carlos Miller got kicked out or kicked off of the wild of a, of Wild and Out Nick Cannon's Wild and Out show. Okay, so if on a Breakfast Club interview. Because this is the first time, this is the first, today is the first day I'm hearing about this. So, during the Breakfast Club interview, I learned that Carlos Miller um, of the 85 South, South Show, um, and he's, he got two other cast members from Wild and Out on there, which is Chico B and DC on Fly. All right, but Carlos Miller got kicked off of Wild and Out or fired from Wild and Out and kicked off the Wild and Out tour. So, I looked at the um interview. I actually downloaded this interview so I can watch it after I got off work and everything. So, I was watching the interview and I learned they got kicked off. Or Carlos Miller got kicked off. And all three of them was acting like they didn't know what happened. DC, Young Fly was like, they need to have a sit down. Carlos Miller and Nick Cannon need to have a sit down and just talk. Chico Bean was like... It's the white people or, you know, the higher ups in the industry or whatever. So, and then Carlos Miller was like, he don't know why he got kicked off. But what they were talking about was they said Carlos Miller or Carlos Miller said he made a joke about Mariah Carey. Now, we used to hearing jokes about Mariah Carey on Wild and Out. But this joke, I guess, I don't know if it really offended Nick or... If it's something else, but what he said was he he joked about Nick Cannon going on a date with Mariah Carey and her new husband. Now, I mean, I heard um, jokes about Mariah Carey and all the time, but you know, Carlos. If you have watched the '85 South Show, Carlos Miller is he. You know, what I mean, he get fucking he. He's kind of pretty, you know, uncut. No baking soda, you feel me? He's uncut, raw, you know what I'm saying? Straight drop. And he was talking about how, and they was talking about, DC on was fly, was saying how when Carlos, he would say what he feels, and it'd be maybe some hurtful shit or whatever, and then he'll just walk off. Now, I want y'all to picture this. Imagine, um, just imagine Carlos Miller, you know, Carlos Miller already funny, he go go in. So imagine Carlos Miller making this joke about Nick Cannon, Going on a date with Mariah Carey and her new husband, which may be some real, real stuff, real shit, and hurt Nick, and him just walking off after he say the joke, and not letting Nick get his, get his, you know what I'm saying, get his joke in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That may have upset Nick, but what happened was on the Breakfast Club, um. Carlos Miller was like, he Nick ain't responding to none of his texts or nothing because he was trying to reach out to Nick Cannon after he got fired and kicked off the tour. So what happened was um, Nick Cannon called, um, I mean, Charlemagne the God called Nick Cannon on the phone during the Breakfast Club interview and asked Nick, why he fired um Carlos Miller and Carlos Miller was like I mean and Nick Cannon was like it's the white people higher up or people at Viacom or something I guess maybe the owners I don't know partnership whatever it is but the higher I guess some white people or whatever and and they was like nah they didn't have to sit down and then he was saying something how Nick Cannon called I guess one of Carlos Miller's managers and the manager told Gonna um, call it smelling. He need to find something else to do. Just straight up find something else to do. And I guess he Nick Cannon heard from the manager allegedly that Carlos Miller didn't want to be on the show or the tour anymore. And Carlos Miller said that was a lie. But you know what I mean? Just simple shit. Like why would you listen to him, the manager or whatever instead of going directly to your man's? You feel me? And getting it straight from the source. You know what I'm saying? And it ended in a positive note, but I don't know if, if Nick Cannon is going to respond to Carlos Miller or anything. 
um, I don't know how that's going to go. But I know I'm a big fan of Carlos Miller and DC Young Flash um, and Chico B and the 85 South Show. I'm also a fan of Wildin' Out. But you know what I mean? Some shit just ain't adding up because, like Carlos Miller said, he been on the show for nine seasons. So, I don't know. If, and then, oh, oh yeah, at one point during the Breakfast Club interview, Nick Cannon was like, I heard you doing your own thing and everything or whatever. You're making moves and everything. I guess because Carlos Miller is blowing up. He's getting big, but you feel me? Don't, man, like, you know what I mean? That's your mans, you feel me? Nick Cannon, you feel me? That's your mans. He, you know what I mean? That's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to branch off and do other things, you know what I'm saying? And you help open the doors for that, you know what I mean? And Carlos Miller seemed like the type of guy to appreciate that type of stuff. DC on Fly even pulled Nick Cannon to the side and told Nick Cannon that he would that DC DC Young Fly pulled Nick Cannon to the side and told Nick Cannon that he would take a a pay cut for Carlos Miller to come back on the show, which is real respectable, you know what I mean, of DC Young Fly to do, you know what I'm saying? And they dapped up and hugged after that on the Breakfast Club. DC Young Fly and Carlos Miller, but man, I hope Carlos Miller get back on the show because him Chico Bean and DC Young Fly are like the main reasons I watch the show. But Carlos Miller is like a big part of that, you know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button, and hit that um bell for instant notifications when I drop new content. It's your boy Flexton Curry, and I'm out.